Now, although some local face mask producers are lamenting the 850 CD approval fee for production, others are taking advantage of the opportunity and meeting demand schedules. One of such producers is David Osulati, CEO of Otec Biotech Limited. Wondering what is unique about his face mask, Joy Business's Delia and Tiama visited his facility and brings us more. So for several days, government has been encouraging all of us to wear nose mask. Though very mm, uncomfortable, well, mine just went off. I, I must say that the FDA is interested in us getting uh, the mask that actually work um, to really prevent COVID from getting to you. Well, I got this for five cities and it's virtually like um, just cloth. But the FDA has come with some specifications and so far I gather that about 10 companies have been certified. I am here at the workstation of um, Auto Biotech and uh, we're coming to be delving into the issues with the CEO of the company. He is David Osute and he'll be giving us more details as to what it really means to be certified by the FDA. Does it really matter or not? How expensive is it? And can everybody afford it? So David, you're hiding behind the cameraman. Come on out. <laughs> nice meeting you. Thank you. Um, social distancing, especially when my, <laughs> my, my, my mind is off. Of course. I want to find out from you exactly what did the FDA say you had done right? Well, we sent um, samples to the FDA and uh, we didn't actually get it right the first time. Uh, we sent different samples and uh, they advised us as to the kinds of filters they actually need, mm. the kinds of filters lab has actually approved to be used. Mm. So we had to then go back and make some changes mm. and bring it back again. So it took some time. It would have been short, but because of the changes we had to make, it took some time. But then uh, we got approval, and then uh, we started sales. Okay, we started sales. Okay, now, the one that I'm wearing, mm -hmm. I want you to examine it. Okay. So that if it's not the right one, you'll give me one of yours for the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <All right. laughs> so... This is mine. Once okay. you touch it, it means I can't use it anymore. Absolutely. So do the examination. What will make mine not um, the FDA certified one? You can cut it if you want. <laughs> when you take a look at this mm -hmm. one, actually, um, try to take measure. You want some scissors? No, please. There's a scissors right here. Okay. All right. For the FDA um, approved okay. nose mask, uh, when sewing, the length should be about 10 inches, okay? The length should be about, about 10 inches, and then the width should be about six inches when sewing, okay? The width should be about six inches when sewing. And uh, there should be filters in there, okay? So I'm going to cut this. Uh, you'll probably be angry with me. <laughs> I know you'll give me a second one. <laughs> so uh, we cut this one. And you say you got this for five cities? Yes. Okay. 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 So when I open this, mm -hmm. there's absolutely no filter. Okay. It's absolutely none. Okay. okay. Let me just. Uh, it's absolutely no filter in there. Okay. So it doesn't give you um, the amount of um, protection you need against the virus okay it doesn't give you the amount of protection you need so the inner layer is absolutely like the outer layer that's right so this doesn't give you the amount of protection you actually need mm. but then when we take a look at uh, one of the marks we are making here right. okay this is the k3 okay this is the k3 when i cut the k3 Inside the K3, I filters. Okay, you have two layers of them in there. This is stiff material. Okay. Is it a particular stiff material or just any stiff material? Um, this is medium-sized stiff material. 
we have types, uh, medium size is preferable because it's breathable. Okay, mm -hmm. we are trying to protect people against the virus, but we also want, want people to easily to breathe. breathe. Yeah. Exactly, you get it. So there's two layer stiff material. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and when you're doing the packaging and sending it out, mm -hmm. you have a place where you have put FDA certified mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that people mm -hmm. can tell that yours is actually mm -hmm. coming from the FDA? Absolutely. Um, the packaging process after it's been sold, okay, we actually sterilize them before. So um, after we've um, sold them, okay, we have to sterilize them. Mm. Each one goes through um, two-stage sterilization, mm. okay. So when I open this, there we have um, some samples in there and I go in sterilization. Over here, we have about eight samples being sterilized. Mm. So after they specifically, been, what you, are you doing? Trying um, to sterilize we them. are trying to handle mm -hmm. them while sewing. Exactly. And you want to make sure that it's absolutely safe. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because you don't know the kinds of pathogens, bacteria, or viruses that I have uh, been uh, transmitted during sewing, or even during when we are acquiring the materials. Mm -hmm. You never know. So and we you try just to even touched mine, and you've gone back to the sterilization. Exactly. Thing. You get it. So we have to sterilize them thoroughly. And then after the first stage sterilization, they go to second stage sterilization. So each mask is sterilized twice mm -hmm. before we distribute it. OK. Yeah. So the question is still not answered. OK. The packaging, mm -hmm. do you put FDA certified somewhere? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have, um, when it's completed, this is how it's packaged, please. Mm -hmm. Definitely packaging will come with a cost as well. Absolutely. And you have FDA stamped somewhere. We have we don't have it on this one because we actually received our FDA number mm. right after uh, it was posted. Okay. So you can see um, the progress. We were here without the made in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then from here we moved here to the made in Ghana. Okay. So there will be a third one tomorrow, God willing, which will have the FDA number. Okay, and they're made in Ghana, and that will be our final one. Work. Exactly. And right. we have been on this for about um, five weeks. You've been on this for five weeks. Absolutely. How much does one cost at okay. the FDA certified with the FDA number on it? How much okay. is it going to cost? Um, this is the K3 mask. Mm -hmm. This is the K3 mask. And the K3 mask, one costs about 12 Ghana cities mm -hmm. on the market. And uh, if uh, people would like to uh, make a bulk purchase, it's reduced. The reason being, we want everyone to be able to afford it. We want everyone to be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. That is why it's costing that cheap, exactly. <laughs> that the one cheap. That cheap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, the one I'm wearing, this is uh, the K1. This was designed just recently, about uh, three days ago. This is the K1, mm -hmm. and we will have it on the market latest by uh, next week. We have the K1 on the market. This okay. why, why do you, why have you been, why do you call them K1 and K3? That's my, my next question. Okay, um, we are trying to, uh, one, it helps us. Okay, when people call us, we don't want them saying, we want the one that looks like Ninja. We don't want them saying that. We want them to say they want K1 and we know what they mean. Mm -hmm. When they say K3, we know what they mean. K1, for instance, K1 was designed, as I mentioned earlier, about three days ago. So we are yet to, um, Price settle it. on the price mm -hmm. yeah price this one should be available letters by next week when you take k2 k2 actually cost 12 cities mm -hmm. the pleated ones the pleated ones cost 12 cities it's um the same pricing as uh the k3 mm -hmm. it's the same pricing as the so k3 so the ninja one you're wearing the cost is going to be a bit different the cost is going to be a bit different because of the kind of material you have used and how Take it. Can you take it off and all right, all right. S stretch it and let's see right. how different that is going to be. So let me stretch this one first and show you something. This very one stretches okay. We faced um, some problems with people. We've had complaints where people purchase masks and then they want to try everything you are holding. Okay, if you have 20, they want to try it all and know that it actually fits them. Okay. But uh, with the FDA specifications, it limits um, that kind of um, yeah, attitudes and all that. You cannot try it. Exactly, you cannot try it. But the K1 is different in the sense that it actually stretches. 
it actually stretches. You get it. It actually stretches. This um, can fit almost anybody. So it makes us um, fix the age gap problem. Mm. Because when clients call, they have to specify who the mask is going to. Mm. Okay, let me wear this, please. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, I'm not wearing one right now because you've cut mine. And the one you're supposed to give me is under sterilization. Okay. So that everybody gets it out there that I'm being compliant. Yes. So my next issue okay. is once it is cloth mm -hmm. and it can get dirty, and okay. this one you don't discard mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. Tell us, can I wash it? Mm -hmm. Can I reuse it? Mm -hmm. Um, when it comes to um, any of the masks Maybe we have, we can walk okay. and see the rest of your um, products. Yeah. When it comes to the reusability, mm -hmm. um, with this one, it's because of the stiff material okay. in there, it allows for it to be reused. Mm -hmm. Okay. All you do is you can wash it with our detergent home detergent you can wash it with it and uh, it should very much uh, kill or inactivate the pathogens how many have you produced so far um so far counting the numbers uh, i'll say over a thousand over a thousand and um, we have running projects current projects we have over ten thousand under production right now okay yes have you been contacted by anybody to produce for them in, in, in large volumes, especially from the health sector, from companies, or where? Uh, we've received calls. We've received calls from people um, for uh, residential use, um, companies, okay? Uh, but then uh, with the calls that come, we, we decided to go uh, bulk purchases. Uh, so to uh, enable distribution of um, the mass to reach some people because if we want to sell them single, singular, we wouldn't be able to reach everybody, okay? Not to talk about the cases in Kumase and other regions and we are situated here in Accra. We receive calls from other regions and uh, not all the time that we are able to meet their requests. So we decided to um, triple supply every two days. So we can meet the demand. We even receive calls from outside, the Western people. They like what they see, they like the designs, they like the style, they like the fact that, um, that it's FDA approved and it has filters in it. They like it. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think that'll be it. That'll be Thank it. you very much. I Thank think now too. we can shake the <laughs> yeah, That's the COVID um, elbow shake. Yes. Yeah.